Hi, everyone. This is Leslie Suzette and Sprongly Natural here with, yes, another great video. I am, as always, excited to share with you what we are going to talk about today. So hold tight. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. I'll see you in a minute. So we're going to start with this first oldie but goodie fragrance. And this is really, I think this is one of my newer ones. Came out in 2020. So, but the, the brand itself is an oldie but goodie. And that's Oscar De La Renta. And this one's called Bella Essence. Bella Essence. Now, Bella Essence is, um, the nose behind this one is Clement Gavari. And the top notes are raspberry. Red currant, grapefruit, middle notes, vanilla, jasmine, rose, and then base notes of ambroxan, musk, and patchouli. But I'm going to be honest with you. All of those notes are good, but I'm going to be honest with you. Grapefruit, 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 and more grapefruit. All of those other notes, maybe in the dry down, I'm not sure, but all I get is grapefruit and a hint of embroxen. This is so fresh. You talk about springtime fragrance. Ladies, you get your hands on this one. I got this one, to be honest with you, I believe from Marshalls, um, Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And I think this was like under $30. And when I say just a beautiful springtime uh little bit of floral, but mostly grapefruit. I can get out of the shower, put this on in the mornings, go out and I am fresh to, I'm, you know, they usually say fresh to death, but I'm going to speak life, fresh to life. It is so refreshing. You feel vibrant. You feel bright. You feel alive when you put this on. And that's how you should feel in the spring. So I'm pulling out the Oscar de la Renta only because it's nostalgic. It brings back memories. Remember the Oscar de la Renta jeans? If you didn't have Oscar de la Renta jeans back in the day, I'm telling you, if it wasn't for my aunt, love you, Auntie Jo, I wouldn't have them either. But when I called out Oscar de la Renta, Gloria Vanderbilt, she came a running and I thank God for my aunt because I was in style and fashion. And she had the money to get it. So I love you, Auntie. Thank you. But yes, Oscar de la Renta, Bella Essence. <laughs> okay, so yeah. So I was just on my phone checking out these songs from the 1990s. And what was a hit? So I went on and I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I remember this. Uh, Whitney Houston, I will always love you. Oh my goodness, Vogue by Madonna. You remember? Oh, oh my goodness. Sir Mix-a-Lot, Baby Got Back. Yes. Oh my goodness. Waterfalls by TLC. Sonata O'Connor, Nothing Compares to You, Pearl Jam. Oh my gosh. Look at all of these hits that came out in the 1990s. Oh yes. Can't touch this. Da -da 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 -da. MC Hammer. All of these songs. Say my name. Say my name. Destiny's Child. All of these great hits in the 90s. Why did I do that? Because this next fragrance, you all, brings back those 90s memories because it was first uh, brought out and launched in 1999. It was right on the cusp of 2000. And this one is none other than Elizabeth Arden's Green Tea. You all, this will forever be a staple on my shelf. This green tea by Elizabeth Arden is, first of all, the essential for spring fragrances. It's an essential spring fragrance in my opinion. Remember, these are my opinions that I share on this uh, channel. You all, this one, just like the Oscar de la Renta Bella Essence, feeling fresh, feeling clean. When I spray this out of the shower, you all, this is just so absolutely beautiful. This one, the nose behind this is by none other than Mr. Baccarat Rouge 540 himself, Maison Francis Kirk John. 
in his early years, this has notes of lemon, bergamot, mint, orange peel, rhubarb, middle notes of jasmine, oak moss, fennel, musk, carnation, white amber, base notes of green tea, oh, jasmine, oak moss, musk, celery seeds, caraway, cloves, and amber. And you all, I get just about all of that, but especially that rhubarb, that lemon, that bergamot, that orange peel. Oh my goodness, that green tea. You are fresh. You talk about the best springtime fragrance, one of the best. That's that Elizabeth Arden's green tea. Elizabeth Arden's green tea. Now this one, everyone just talked about it, talked about it, talked about it. And I was like, okay, I'm sick of hearing everybody talk about it. So I went ahead and got it. It's not as much of an oldie but goodie, but it's 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 an oldie enough to say most of the people that I saw on YouTube had it and they were using it and they said it was perfect for the spring. And this is Twilly de Hermes or Perve. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. This one by Twilly. The nose of this fragrance is Christine Nagel. And the top note is pink pepper. The middle note is rose. And the base note is patchouli. And that's pretty simple. Yet, it has that vintage appeal. This one, to me, is definitely a spring vintage fragrance. Look at the, the cap on this, the bowler hat on this, and the beautiful bow. You all, this Twilly Dead or Mess gives me the oldie but goodie vibe, meaning vintage. That's why I chose it. To put in here, although it was launched in 2019, it still gives off 1920s, 1930s vibes to me with that vintage smell. It, some people would call it an old people, old lady smell, but it's still like an elegant vintage. Just beautiful with those simple notes. I'm telling you, it's just, it's, oh my gosh. And the thing about it is when you spray it in the air, it is absolutely gorgeous. It is the perfect springtime fragrance for brunch, ladies, going out in the beautiful sun during the day, going to meet the girlfriends and just have a lovely lunch or a beautiful tea. Did I smell the bottle? Yes. I had to open the cap first. You all, this one is just gorgeous with three simple notes that just come together and blend so well. Twilly, you got that right. Twilly, they are mess air perfect. Okay, I am not going to let this, uh, my husband, he keeps talking about that Twilly, you all, and he keeps saying it smells like mothballs. I am not going to let him steal my joy. That thing does not smell like mothballs, ladies. You wear that thing to brunch. It, it has a little vintage old appeal, but it's not that old. It ain't that old. You all, Twilly is great. So I'm not, I'm going to move on from there. We're going to this next fragrance. This is an oldies with goodies. Oh my goodness, Fragrance Day. And this one was launched in 2017. But you all, it has that beautiful oldie but goodie feel to it. And it's so good for springtime. This one is by Versace. And it is Poor Femme Dylan Blue by Versace. You all, this one is a fruity floral fragrance that has notes of Granny Smith Apple, Black Currant. You all, Clover. It has Shisu. It has peach, patalia, rose hip, rose, jasmine, musk, white woods, styrax, and patchouli. And you all, this one, Granny Smith apples, all the way with a mixture of black currant. It is so beautiful. When you talk about a springtime fruity floral fragrance with that rose and that peach mixed together, this one, Versace, I mean, Dylan Blue is blended so well. Because you get the fruit, you get the floral. You can wear this to brunch. You can wear this to work. I'm telling you, when I wear this to work, there is not a day that I haven't worn this over the years that I don't get a compliment. There's something about this, Dylan Blue. And I know there's a new, um, what do you call it, flanker. I think it's blue turquoise. I don't have that one. But this one is an oldie but goodie for me because I always get a compliment when I wear this. There's just something fresh and floral and fruity that this was not sweet. It's fruity, but it's not that syrupy, oversweet fruit. 
It's just a great blend of fruit and floral coming together to make a wonderful work time scent, daytime scent, brunch, dinner, lunch, you name it. This one is an, I call it an overall scent for the spring. And that's again, Dylan Blue by Versace. Now, last but not least, you all, I have had so much fun doing this, laughing with you all, because when I think about oldies but goodies, these are, these are scents that bring back memories, either of a song or of a time in my life. And I'm sure that many of you have that scent. And so I am, before I share this last one, if you have an oldie but goodie on your shelf, and it brings back some type of scent memory, a song, a time, a great place in life. Can you go ahead and put it in the comment section? I would love to hear that oldie but goodie fragrance that's your favorite. You know I love it. I would definitely send you a note back because I love to hear your stories as well. But this one that I'm going to share with you, this brings me back to a time where I was just able to afford a fragrance at Macy's. My husband and I, we went and this fragrance was there and I just fell in love with it. It was the perfect, in my opinion, springtime fragrance, but it was, you know, at the, you know, for retail, for designer fragrance, it was up there, you know, at the top end. And it was like maybe, you know, 90 you know, $80. And just to be able to afford it was just a blessing. And this one launched in 2006. And that was about the time that we were introduced to this one. And this one, you all, is just a... Be <sighs> just had a moment. It's a beautiful spring <laughs> fragrance. This one makes me think of this season as we're coming into the Easter uh, Resurrection Sunday season. This one, in fact, I think I'm going to wear this one for Easter Sunday, on Easter Sunday, because it's just that type of beautiful fragrance. And it's by none other than Bogari. I hope I pronounced you right because you are an oldie but goodie in and of itself. Bogari Omnia Amethyst. And first of all, there were several of these bottles that came out. Um, and all of them had just a beautiful scent in and of its own. But this one just touched my heart so much. Just spraying this one and getting that beautiful. I'm going to spray it again. Such a, just a subtle, beautiful feminine scent. This reminds me, you know, it's not like my um, Parfums de Marley scents. I'm not saying it smells like that. But Parfums de Marley has a way of, making their scents just smell, make you smell and feel like a lady. Just that elegant, delicate lady. And that's what I think about when I smell Bagari um, Omnia Amethyst. It's just that delicate female scent. It's so beautiful. It, the color goes with the smell. This one has notes of uh, green notes, pink grapefruit, Iris, Bulgarian Rose, Bulgarian Rose, Heliotrope, and Woody Notes. And it's just, it's just so beautiful. You would think it had lavender in it because of the color, but it doesn't have lavender, but it's so, so beautiful. The nose behind this one is Alberto Morales, and he is a very well-known uh, uh, perfume creator um, and uh, just a wonderful knows that he has to create such a delicate and beautiful scent. So again, you all, this one brought back memories, oldie but goodie by Bagari, Omnia Amethyst. Oh my goodness. I had so much fun with you all today. Um, I was just reading through the comments in the last few days. Thank you so much. We met that 400 subscriber mark and I am so grateful to you all. Thank you so much. You all know I cannot leave without just sharing a few words of encouragement and inspiration. Today, I just want you to dream big. I know I love to talk about dreaming big because sometimes the visions that we have and we they're big visions, they're big dreams. And sometimes because of our, you know, lack of confidence or faith in our own selves, 
we kind of scale back the dream. We kind of scale back the vision for our lives. But I am encouraging you today to dream big, think big, go big, go for the gusto. I looked up the word go and it says to move forward, to push your head, to go from one place to the other. And when I talked about and I heard about the word gusto, I looked that one up and it's really just a, you know, a slang kind of phrase. But it said go big, go hard, go for the gusto. Gusto's big. You have to be, you know, a big dreamer, a big thinker, a big actor, a big doer. That's what I'm encouraging you today to do. Don't lose faith in yourself. Don't lose faith in you. Believe, believe in yourself. Believe that you can do the impossible. Believe that you can do big things. And I'm telling you, out of this mouth, once you say it, most of the time we'll act on it. Act big. Go hard. Go for the gusto. Don't give up. Go hard. Never give up. Never quit. We've got this. You can do it. Yay! Encourage yourself. Cheerlead yourself. If nobody else is cheering for you, you cheer for yourself. And I will cheer you on all the way. We can do this. Dream big, go big, do it. I'm so proud of you. Listen, that's my word of encouragement today. I got a little excited, excuse me, but I couldn't help myself because I believe in me and I believe in you. So thank you so much to all of you for subscribing. If you can share by hitting the like button, by sharing this content with your family and friends, let them know that Leslie Suzette is here sharing about all things beauty, all things fragrance, and all things self-care. And my goal, I only have one, my aim, my goal is to inspire as many of you as I can to be your most best. Yes, and most beautiful selves, both inside and out. Well, until next time, I say thank you, and I look forward to seeing you in the future, which will be next week. Look forward to seeing you. Thanks.